Hey, thanks for tuning in to Larger Curves. Make sure you smash that like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring my bell on the way in. Curvies! OMG! We have another reality show that's spilling over into real life and the stuff that's happening on lives and Instagram lives and the Twitter and the YouTubes is bleeding all over and much more interesting than the show. OMG! Well, you know over here on Larger Curves, we love Married to Medicine best show on Bravo. And it's usually filled with black excellence and making marriages work and, you know, and, and freaking awesomeness, right? Well, you know, this season, Dr. Heavenly talked Dr. G's wife, well, new wife, Sweet T, who I dubbed Sweet and Sour, into coming onto the show so we could see her wedding to Dr. G on a television, which would, never would have happened. People never would have picked up her wedding had it not been for Dr. Heavenly allegedly begging her to be on the TV screen, right? But even though her husband, Dr. G, in a live that they did with Quad and, um, not Quad, they did a live with Toya, Dr. Simone, Dr. G, and Sweet and Sour. And Dr. G said they did the show because she needed the money. Okay, if the live is still up, you can check it for yourself. Anyway, so there is this turn of events this week when Dr. Heavenly and Quad seemingly got into it, um, even on the live that they had with Phaedra, and Quad seemed like she was shut down, and Dr. Heavenly was like, oh, you know, we just don't want to bring all that stuff up right now. Let's just, you know, wait. And Quad was visibly upset. Now, Dr. Jackie is who started that whole little inquisition on that live about how the ladies felt about you don't make enough effort and stuff like that. And then Dr. Heavenly kind of co-signed and I wasn't sure why she was co-signing except for Dr. Heavenly tells his truth, no matter who the truth hurts. You know what I'm saying? So we have seen Quad be very distant and standoffish and kind of like guarded with these ladies ever since the very first um, season and I almost feel like her accent that we see and the airs people say Quad puts on are a defense mechanism because, I don't know, she wants to serve you this version of her instead of give you her real version of her because that's a vulnerable place. So she's never really like been completely vulnerable with these ladies. And um, But having her on the show... With this new wife of her ex-husband, Dr. G, after we saw their tumultuous relationship, was supposed to be TV gold, but all it's devolved into is a lot of this, that, and nothing, okay? A lot of bickering, a lot of infighting, and now for some reason, Quad are thinking, I mean, people are thinking Quad is only going to be on the show two more episodes, according to somebody's um comment she responded to and um dr heavenly seemingly went in on quad but it was all just truthful stuff it wasn't nothing bad unless you don't like the truth you know and so anyway sweet tea last night went live with the bridesmaid who went to the tell Sweet Tea in the wedding episode, well, no, in the Bachelorette episode, remember she went and told Sweet Tea that Dr. Heavenly was talking about her behind her back. Well, I called BS on that because technically you're in a room full of people and the only reason it happened to be behind her back is because Sweet Tea was arguing with her sister in the event planner about $14,000 more they was going to need to make sure the wedding went through at the new venue because allegedly Bravo wasn't paying the bills. Anyway, um, all of that happened. Now, Sweet Tea and the Bridesmaid went live on Instagram last night. And I guess Dr. Heavenly is Sweet and Sour's storyline, but she keeps saying it's the reverse. But um, this girl can't seem to keep Dr. Heavenly out of her mouth, you guys. She must love the taste of Dr. Heavenly in her mouth because this entire live is her and her bridesmaid talking crap about Heavenly and all this stuff. And all I know, all I know is the bridesmaid put tin on it when she went to the girl because, like I said, Dr. Heavenly was in the same room with the girl. The only reason the girl didn't hear exactly from Dr. Heavenly was because she was in the bathroom crying, talking to Dr. Uh, Pancakes, you know, Dr. Simone, the flip-flopper. Anyway, listen to this ratchet stuff that the lady is saying. I'm not really here for it. 
They're like even talking about um, Dr. Heavenly's brand with her businesses and stuff. I feel like it's really shysty and too much. But Curvies, you take a listen. I wasn't at the wedding. I'm not sweet and sour. I have no idea why she's hyper-focused on the lady who made her famous. But here we go. Leave a comment. Leave a thought. And another thought. To let you know how bad this live got, it was 78 minutes and she deleted it after they went live. At first it was on her page and she deleted it. Unfortunately, I was only able to catch this little snippet right here because she had posted it and I was like, oh, I'm going to go back and play it for my curvies. And by the time I got back an hour later, she had deleted the 78 minute live of her and this girl talking all this trash. OK, so I don't know if she got a call. I don't know who said what, but mm. right. me and you are friends. There is no way, no way Gregory could be, bring another woman around me. And I would side with her over you. Like, I'm just not like I might lie to her. I might pretend, I might kiki with her, but like you always gonna be like my number one. So the way Heavenly befriended you, and I'm gonna tell you, you was like, no, I think she legit. And I was like, all right, cool, you know, I'll take a step back, I'll believe her. But also, whatever. Yeah, but also notice though, Heavenly is not even nobody's friend. You see how she doing quad? You see, <laughs> like, which like, is crazy to me, which is crazy <laughs> to me, because I can see her flipping on you, but like the stuff she said about quad and the stuff that she did prior to all of her, all right. Maybe they really not friends. Right. That's that's what I'm saying. I didn't think they were friends for the way she was talking about her to me. But baby, the way she switched up at the Bravo Con, I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> I right. think I, I think the ex has something on her that she don't want that she don't want revealed. Yeah, that could be. I don't know, child. It's but, funny to me. But heavily she 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 switched up on me right around when I came out with that Bravo tour, uh, the house tour. That's when she switched up on me and she posted the ex's um house. Like, girl, you just be doing stuff just to do stuff. Like, and then and, and then we got on Bravo Con. But you haven't much. even been to the you haven't even been to the ex's house except for when you filmed for this season. So like, make it make sense. And then she um she switched she switched up on me at Bravo Con like in a way. But in the backstage she trying to kiss me on the forehead like I'm so proud of you. <laughs> like it's just like you is baby you lost baby you lost, you, lost. <laughs> you, you just lost just a lost soul out here <laughs> That's a, Lord Jesus. you know what like t tv money is different money <laughs> it makes yeah, you crazy like, stuff <laughs> yeah like the things people do for money i'll be like i can see it i guess like you know like i'm pro sex work right whatever you do with your body <laughs> Like, like it makes sense, right? But I, that's how I feel about like TV money. It's like I'm just gonna get on here. I'm gonna say whatever. I'm, I'm gonna say whatever I need to do to, uh, and then get this money real quick. That's what that and that and that and that uh, you know and I that was just different for me to see like people how low they go mm -hmm. to continue to keep a check. Like I didn't know like what you told me, what you shared with me. I didn't know it would go that low. But I'm like, but like you a whole doctor. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you understand HIPAA, you understand compliance, and, and then like what professionalism at some point, like exactly. So for her to get on there and be like talking about like your endometriosis and your fibroids, like when she keeps saying, "Oh, she knew about that," she knew about that. I'm like, she know I she know I found out that on the show exactly. And it's just like you still going and, and like you you sending people lying and you sending people my way saying that I lied and I trapped Gregory. Like that was you. You trapped your husband. I didn't do that. I didn't have to, like, Gregory knew right before we got married in February. We got married in April, February 14th on Valentine's Day. I got rushed to the hospital. Did not know, like, yeah, I had a fibroid, but that doesn't keep you from having a baby. But in right, but, but, and especially, like, if I, like, I've never had tried to have a child. Like, I just assumed I could have a child because I'm a woman. So it's not until you're, like, actually in the process of trying to have a child that you realize, like, what's actually broken. Right, right. Or, or like, if you've had irregular periods all your life like all your menstrual cycle it just seems normal that you have irregular menstrual cycles like it's not something that's taught to us that like it should be every 28 days and it should be for four right. days and anything longer or other than that and so for her to be a doctor and just get on tv and just like and or say you know, anything yeah that's what i'm like, like yeah. it's raggedy it's, it's raggedy it's raggedy bitch behavior <laughs> very much so. oh, um yeah mama right there no, no, no. She went. She went. Girl, she went into the store. You called at the right time. <laughs> Look, your mama gonna watch this live. <laughs> she probably gonna watch this. 
<laughs> she gonna ask. She gonna ask. <laughs> she heard y'all nasty mouth earlier. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my gosh, child! I'm looking. At, yeah, um, they, but no, but you know, what? I really like. I liked Married to Medicine, and I like I like Married to Medicine, and I liked um, what is it, Love and Marriage Huntsville? Because I like seeing black people doing things. I like seeing black people making money and owning businesses, right? As, doing something with their lives, and you know, giving back to the community. Just flowing. yeah, like like yeah, that's the inspiring. kind of stuff I like to see positive things. And so, like even this season on Married to Medicine, like they haven't shown anything business wise. I well, they showed. To- Norm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like you're normal. Like, I like seeing things. Like, okay, it's possible. I can be like, I don't actually have to be a doctor to be invested in a medical business or a medical company. It starts the reunion. They were fighting. It's like, is this is like what people are wanting? Is this is what like the attention getter? This is what's keeping people like hanging on to reality? Like, this is what it is. Like, I don't know. I I, I don't fully understand it, but like also not a lot of people are willing to show their reality anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not talking about their lives. They're not talking about their families. They're, they're tearing me down for the little things that I do that actually is quite normal. You know what I'm saying? Me going, me me having an argument with my husband or something like that's normal. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you're or, or, e- or even you having an argument with your sister, but I like that they show it within like three minutes later, y'all was back together. You know Right, like, like it happens. <laughs> like, like it happens. Right, but it don't have to go to blows and y'all beating each other up. It could just be like we could just be in our feelings for a moment. Yeah, we're gonna be in our feelings and we're gonna get past it. And that's that's right, like that's normal behavior and also like with me, my husband. I mean, you going with your boyfriend, you gonna have already me here and there. I mean, it's just gonna happen. Doesn't mean we're not fit to be together. Let's just be real. Let's just be real. Let's be real. You, like you can't you can't live with your siblings, you can't live with your parents, you can't live with a roommate or a man without having some type of disagreement and some type of Right, exactly. It is it, it, it's it's bound to happen. It's bound if to happen. I argue with my man, I don't care. Like I'm still gonna get up in the morning to remind him that, like, don't forget to take your lunch because I already made it. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and it's just like I felt like I was getting ridiculed and criticized for just telling my truth. Like, okay, yeah, my man is older than me. Boom, your man is older than you. You know what I'm saying? Like, my it, it, my my father is 17 years older than my mother. And then how old is how old is your how old is your boyfriend? He's 17 years older than me. My fiance. Okay. And on, but honestly, that had been the norm. That has right. always been like the norm back in the day. Like people are just now getting back to that. <laughs> like or, or or like or like when people be like when you want to, when people want to make fun of you, they're like, "Oh, you moved into." A, I'm like, it's a house. It's a house. It's an empty house, and it's, it's an empty shell. Hell. It's and a it's nothing. It's nothing wrong with the house. The location is nice. The house, the house is, is nice. nice. It's, it's still in good condition. Um, it's almost paid off. Why wouldn't I? I? I didn't know the house when Gregory was there with the ex-wife. I, I have no recollection of that. I don't had nothing to do with that. So right. for me to just move in and all I got to do is redecorate, unpack, and decorate. Like, okay, I'm gonna do Easy. that. <laughs> right. I was gonna do that no matter where we moved to, <laughs> right? <laughs> or 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 like catering to your man. Like, yes, I get up and cook my man breakfast. Cause that's what I like to do. I'm already gonna cook. A bitch is already gonna cook us something. So why not? I cook gotta cook. Cook. I gotta cook. Why not cook a little more? Right. <laughs> what what difference do it make? I I put on a pot of coffee. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like like it doesn't. You catering to your man? Oh, you. <laughs> you because you know, what, you know what? If if somebody break in the house, and I don't care if it's my man or your man, I'm gonna treat all I'm gonna treat all men and especially black men the same way. If Gregory want to drink fix, I'm gonna go fix him a drink. If my man want a plate fix, I'm gonna fix him a plate. Because if somebody kick in the door, I expect Gregory, I expect my man, I expect my brother to get up and go handle that. Right, right. Look, Toya said, who's gonna not marry a man based on a house? We live in. We may not like it. We may change it later, but it's gonna make a make a breaking relationship. But it's not gonna make a breaking relationship. Exactly. Like I didn't come in here demanding stuff like you. I need this. I need that, or whatever. Like you know. Because <laughs> the first time I walked in Gregory's house, I was like, "Oh yeah, I can do this." <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I went and picked out my room, and it's been my room for for years now. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> but also when I also when I met Gregory, Gregory was open. Like he was like, "Oh, come in here, girl. This is where you go. This is the first. This is the first weekend when we was dating. He was like, "This go. This right here. This right here where you gonna be cooking, girl. This is your kitchen right here." He was laying it on thick, baby. He was laying it on real thick, and I was like, "Okay, that's how I like it. That's how I like it. Put it on thick." <laughs> I was like, he was like, "Oh yeah." He was washing his clothes. He's like, "This where where we gonna be washing clothes, babe? This this is this is all the first weekend." So it wasn't like. I just took over and started demanding things. Like I like it. he had he he been in this house. I think he had been divorced for for a minute. He had been separated and divorced for a minute. So it's like I met him in the house together, and he was in there alone, and there right. was no furniture, and I had an empty canvas to work work out of. So what are your it thoughts? Worked fine for me. I don't care. I don't care if it was fully decorated and she still had up all her pictures. I'm gonna take it all down and I'm gonna redo it. Okay. We can do it one room at a time. Well, I hired, I actually hired somebody to get all the stuff out. Like, since Gregory, Gregory wasn't, you know, he's always working. When I met him, he worked three jobs. So Gregory wasn't worried about all the things that's going in the house. Like, Gregory, come home. He he eat, sleep, and he shit. <laughs> he, he, he out of here. You know what I'm saying? He back to work. Like, he wasn't worried about that. So I ended up hiring somebody um, to get all this stuff out. All Anything that he had. I hired. I got them. I got them people. I had maybe had to get a couple people with some hazmat suits on, but mm -hmm. <laughs> to come and remove stuff that I wasn't willing to remove, and boom, and we got it. We got it going, and it worked out just fine. And then people, you shop at Target. Who don't shop at Target? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Like my decor come from Target, it come from uh Home Goods, it come from wherever I see. I know, like, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? Like, you know, I don't know. People have to get away from like allowing certain items and being tied to brands and um designer clothes and stuff like that to define them. Like don't allow Ver that Versace not me. walking around with nothing jasmine on. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, like that's just silly to me. Like, we just regular people. Like, I get up and go to work. Right, right, to work. <laughs> right. That's a, that's a, or like, even when people be like, oh, like 50 50 relationships, and I'm like, okay, relationships may be dating, but you're talking about a marriage. It's supposed to be a hundred percent, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Everybody's putting they all into that. It's not like little we, we buying little by little. We buying investment properties together. We are sitting down. Your money become my financial money. Financial plan together, exactly. But that's that's what that's what I do. I mean, it, I I actually manage the the finances with me and Gregory. Like that's what I'm trying to do. Like because that's that's like my he 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 don't have a lot of time for that. So that's my job. That's and, and people, what we agreed people have on. Their strengths and people have their weaknesses. Like I have an MBA. Money is my money is my strength. <laughs> money, I, I money, is, money is your language. Let me, let me hold something. It's, it speak to me. It speak to me. Hold <laughs> your, mama, mama, your mama said, "Let me, let me hold something." Yeah, let me hold. Something. Baby, you can have it all. Oh, that's <laughs> lying. That, that's your other strip lying. <laughs> hey, Miss Brenda, how you doing? Hey, sweetheart, how you doing? I'm doing good. Well, I, I told you. I told her that you heard her dirty mouth earlier with her, her sister on there. Letitia, this is just a Letitia Kanisha got off. They both oh. got dirty mouths. Uh uh, no, Miss Brenda, I don't. I wouldn't curse. I wouldn't curse. My, my, I don't curse. You a lie. I don't. Uh, look, let me tell you how many times I curse. Oh, I don't curse. Oh, look, let me tell you how many times she said to me, "My bad." <laughs> Jasmine, I'm a good Christian woman. Oh God, you know you need to stop. But when the last time you been in church? So look, I was about to say, or Muslim, or Jewish, whatever, whatever. <laughs> whatever, girl. <laughs> whatever I need to be for that. Day. You going to hell with gasoline draws on. <laughs> but guess who's going to be there with me? Hey. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Drew. Drew. Look, look, my point is you. <laughs> Drew, downstairs with Drew. But, all right, girl, I'm going to get off of here because we have to drive back now. All right, yo. All right, girl. You take care. All right. Be bye. good, dear. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs> bye. Bye, Miss Brenda. And that was only 10 minutes of a 78 minute live where they spent the entire time talking like that about Dr. Heavenly. Okay, leave a comment. What are your thoughts?